Hello and welcome to the Petticoated Swashbuckler. My name is Marin and today we're gonna be less nude than this dude. Alright, we are doing the 20s uh, and uh, this time, this today I thought we'd start on some underwear. Now I made a whole video about what kind of what plans I have. Um, I have also already made like a corset. What do you call it? Corset brassiere? Cors brassiere corset? Corselet? I've seen so many different names for it. I'll show you later. I went through uh, all the kinds of underwear that I want to make in that last video as well. But uh, to sort of recap, I'm going to make two at least two but we'll start with two uh, of what's called combinations or step-in combinations or step-in chemise or envelope chemise is <laughs> everything has lots of names uh, in the 20s it would seem and it is basically an underdress a chemise and underdress that um, closes between the legs so it's kind of both a chemise and underdrawers at the same time which I thought was very handy um, and I want to make two different slips. So the chemises will go under my corselet and the uh, slips will go on top of it and kind of smooth the line out. Now I, uh, to start with the, uh, the sh um, combinations, should we just call them that? I have two different kinds of patterns that I want to try. One of them is actually from, I think from 1918 originally. Um, but it looks, it comes with the sort of, I've made it once before, um, but it comes with the option of having uh, narrow shoulder straps. So I want to try that. I also found a sort of, you don't need a pattern, you can just cut out um, combinations. So I thought I'd try that as well. You want to come along? <clears throat> I've had a look through my patterns and um, I've decided to start with the uh, combinations that are actually from the from 1917 first and it's actually a wearing history pattern if you don't know them check them out I'll link them down below um, they're very good they have great patterns this is the back piece uh, with like shoulder straps and then there's similar front piece uh, but what you can do is to just fold that down so you have a straight this will kind of be the straight back of your combinations you won't have that shaped shoulder piece which will make it a lot less visible underneath my clothing my 1929 clothing the back piece also has like a a little a little edge here so you'll actually have a little back pleat um i'm not sure that does make sense for like 1917 clothing i'm not sure it's that sensible 1920s clothing but it might be quite comfortable though it's really it's right here at like right below the waistline so yeah I'll try and then of course it has the little <laughs> this little flap here that is what will go like between my legs and then I'll fasten it with snaps in the front uh, and this will make me um, will make it a lot easier for me to um, go quickly to the toilet for example which is always a good thing especially when you're on your feet all day cooking and cleaning and doing housework so I'll cut one of these unfold and then hang on um, I think this is the front bit So this is the front bit, I've got that unfold as well. As you can see it's just, they're not very long, they're like mid-thigh almost. I think that'll be perfect. Um, so I'll cut one of those and one of the backs unfold. I have, hang on. I have come prepared. This is a roll of black rayon um, rayon was very popular in the 1920s as far as I can tell um, 
it, it's one of the earliest sort of man-made fibers, but it's still plant-based. So, um, as far as I've been able to work out, it's actually made from like tree fibers, uh, kind of cellulose pulp that's made into fibers and then woven. So this is just woven rayon. It's not, um, this is not satin. It's just a very plain, non-stretchy woven fabric, but it's quite sort of, let's see, it's quite sort of thin and it falls quite nicely uh, without being see-through. So I think that'll make for very nice underwear. It feels quite cool and nice to the skin. So that'll be, that'll be good, I think, yeah. So I'll cut one back and one front. I'll need some shoulder straps, but I can probably use some of the extra fabric around what I'm cutting out for that. Yeah. It is done. Well, one of them is done. <clears throat> this is the 1917 pattern. And uh, yeah, I like the look of it. I mean, it's basically a glorified romper, you know, <laughs> with with the little like flap between the legs. Um, I have, it's said that you needed like um, some sort of drawstring around the neck. So I've just uh, stitched the, the seam allowance on the top sort of around the neck uh, down with some lace and then threaded um, some beading lace and then threaded some uh, thin ribbon through that. I think this will work really well. I love this rayon fabric, it's really comfortable. <laughs> okay so this is one of them. Now I'm going to move on to the other. Um, it's not really a pattern 
It's more like a, a sort of, this is how you can make something without a pattern. What they want me to do is to measure my bust and then the length from under my arm down to my hip and then to cut one long rectangle that will go around my entire torso down to my hip and that will kind of be this uh, the sort of camisole part I suppose and then for the kind of lower half you're going to cut a square and then the square is going to be cut on the diagonal and it's that diagonal kind of edge that's going to be stitched onto the lower hem of the sort of camisole bit and then uh, the kind of point on that um, that bit, that uh, that triangle, uh, that's where it will meet up between the, the lengths and it wants me to stitch down one side and then leave one side completely open and the um, it says to close it with hook and eye closure I think maybe I'll use snaps instead but I'll we'll see and then it tells you to use lingerie chains uh, <laughs> as shoulder straps. I have no idea what that is. have not been able to figure out what that is. Uh, so I'm just going to make very narrow shoulder straps and I'm sure that will work just fine. So let's cut some rectangles and squares. little thing is done. Uh, it is probably one of the strangest pieces of clothing I've ever made for myself. But it is not that unflattering now when the closures are done. Um, it's fine, it feels very 20, it feels very sort of playful uh, with the, uh, the triangles that kind of meet up between my legs and this little kind of extra, a little bit of extra at the hips, which feels very 20. So that's the second uh, of my little, my little uh, combinations, stepping combinations. I might make some more just so that I have stuff to change into. I'm going to be working in the kitchen, it's going to be hot and steamy and that sounded more sexy than I wanted it to. It's going to be like it is working in a kitchen in July. It's going to be warm, I'm going to be sweaty, uh, I want to be able to change my underwear frequently so that I don't honk to high heaven. Uh, so I might make more combinations. I will probably not make that many more of this style, even though it took no fabric and no time. I'll link the pattern down below, but I think yeah, 
I don't think this is my favorite. It's fine, just not my favorite. My favorite, however, is the 19, uh, sorry, 1917 version. Hang on. Ta! So this is my absolute favorite. This is so comfortable. Uh, I I'm seriously considering making a few of these and just like wear them to the beach in summer. So comfy. Again, it's got that little rumper thing where it closes between my legs. Just keeping an eye on a viewfinder there so that I don't reveal more than you came for. Uh, <laughs> it's quite sort of high up on my arms, but that's really good, I think, for the for the silhouette. This is not shaping in any way like the other one. The other one kind of squishes me down a little bit. This one does not. But it is so comfortable. And the little like bum pleats. Probably quite difficult to see. Black on black on very very white me. But it's yeah. It's so sweet and cute. And I like it. And I wanna like yeah, I'm gonna make some for like casual wear. Uh, if I'm gonna make more, I'm gonna make at least one more. This is the style I'm going for. <laughs> it takes a little more time uh, and a little more fabric, but they're just so much more comfortable and so much more, like, I feel like I can move in these. I'm very excited to try it on with um, the uh, sort of corset brassiere on top. Um, but that'll be another day. But please come back. The next time we're going to make a couple of uh, slips to go on top of this and my corset brush here. So, until next time, bye!